。おはようございます。私の名前はアンドレアです。フィリピンから来ました。はじめまして。よろしくお願いします。And there you go. That is my Japanese introduction. How are you doing, guys? Hello, my name is Andrea, and you are watching Orange Orang YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the frequently asked question, and that is. What are your struggles as an ALT in Japan? All right, so I'm so excited to answer that question. But before that,、uh, I will make some modification on how I do my videos. So、uh, I already have friends from China and friends in friends in here in Japan and.、Um, They really love to watch my YouTube channel. They kind of understand most of my videos. Maybe I could make some videos that are in full length English. So I will try my best to speak English all throughout this、uh, video. Well, oh, going back to the question what are your struggles as an ALT in Japan? This question is very timely because there are a lot of ALTs. Who want to go to Japan and as of the moment they are processing their documents just like me. They also applied in Chesham Recruitment Agency. So, this is for you guys. Well, I've been staying in Japan for almost five months. Well, it seems like I'm still on cloud nine and I enjoy every moment here, though sometimes I feel lonely. But the feeling of being grateful still prevails. So, during my first three months in Japan, I was so dependent to my cell phone. Google tr- Translate, my one and only option to communicate with the locals. I would always bring out my gadget and use my cell phone right in front of them without even realizing that somehow it looks rude. However, I have also realized that Japanese don't really like someone using their gadgets when they're talking to them. So every time I go out, I always prepare my speech and the possible questions that will arise in our mid conversation. And I restrain myself bringing out my phone and try my best to discern what they really mean.、Uh, there's this one time. When I decided to cut my hair short, I looked for the hairstyle on Google so the hairstylist would find it easier to communicate with me because all I had to do is to show them or show her rather the picture of the hairstyle. So I brought out my phone and pointed at the picture and told her that I want this haircut and I used this Japanese sentence, Kore wa. Hea, hea, kato. Unfortunately, she has a follow up question about the haircut that I wanted. So she asked me if I wanted my hair to be volumed down. So I started to feel anxious because I can't understand her. And here we go again. I don't have a choice but to pull out my phone from my bag and use the Google Translate. Well, it took us five minutes before we really started the haircut session. And when it comes to starting a conversation with the Japanese teachers, I didn't actually have a hard time doing it because they know how to speak English. However,、um, Japanese teachers are very busy. And you'd rather stay in your seat and make yourself busy. Well, some Japanese teachers do not know how to speak in English, so as much as possible, I use the simplest words. Like, let's say I want to ask them, Sensei, do you have any plans in today's lesson? Would you like me to lead the class or just your support? So instead of saying those sentences, I would say, Sensei, plans today lesson? You, teacher one? For me, teacher one, choose. 
Next is my embarrassing moment in a store. I was window shopping in Yamada. I'd like to know if a particular item is still available. So I brought the box to the counter. And one of the employees approached me as I walked towards the counter. And I sensed he was a bit pissed at me for bringing the box from the shelf. He gave me a card and told me that I shouldn't have brought the box. Instead, take a card and bring it to the counter. Well, I really felt stupid. And another experience was my first day in town. Well, ALTs who are moving into their apartments usually have someone with them who knows how to speak Japanese fluently to assist them or to assist us with the documents that we have to submit to the city hall, apartment landlords, and whatnot. Well, the Interax employee and I went to the appliance store and looked for a cheap kettle. So, I picked the cheapest and put it in my basket. Well, the Interact employee was really shocked with what I did. And she told me that I should put it back in the shelf because it's a display. And I wanted to disappear at that moment. So, I put it back and get a box. It appeared that the item will be given to you at the counter. Well, lastly, my struggle as an ALT is thinking of the best activities for the Japanese children. This had been my struggle for the first three months in Japan. I came from a senior high school. Games are not necessary in the class, neither being so energetic from the beginning until the end because these kids are already teenagers. At first, I really find it tiring. I would also feel frustrated whenever I see my Japanese students not actively participating in my class. So from then on, I did my best to look for interesting games that would make them voluntarily participate and, you know, not being forced to. Little by little, I got what they want and used different games every meeting. And then after class, every after class, I would evaluate the activity that I did in each class and if it was effective well i will include that on my list of favorite games um being independent away from your loved ones is the struggle that i am still facing this was my first time living alone in a foreign country there are some nights that i find myself blankly staring at the corner of my room and the feeling of loneliness rushes through my veins but then again being grateful always prevails i will always be grateful for what i am experiencing right now and i am forever thankful for everything that i have i mean not everyone is given a chance like this so i always keep in mind how blessed i am so yeah, I, I am really thankful to our Father in Heaven for everything, everything. So let's have a quick recap of what my struggles are. We have first the language barrier at work, in the grocery store, in the salon, and uh, my embarrassing moments in Yamada, and in Yamada again. And as an ALT, what are the fresh ideas and how am I going to execute the lesson plans that I have? And being an independent uh, person or being alone in, an, in a tiny apartment. So there you go, guys. I hope you find this video really interesting. And if you have any comments or suggestions, just leave it, leave it down below type it in and uh yeah i will take it of course and thank you so much for watching and have a great day everyone thank you so much and don't please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like this video don't forget to click the thumbs up button thank you so much everyone it's me again orange orang and see you next time Can I take you there?